Hello. Hi there. This is Ronathan calling from uh Okay. Uh, reason for the Hi. call is I saw that you'd uh, reached out to us on social media with a complaint, and I just wanted to touch base with you and kind of find out what happened. Uh, who am I speaking? Yes. Who am I speaking with, please? Uh, so, hi, my name is Sandeep Saini. Uh, I called last week. Um, you guys had sent me an invoice for, um, I'm not in front of my computer right now, but it's, it's almost like for like $4,000. Um, of that, like half of that was going to get taken care of by the dealership where I got the car from. And then the other half was I was being charged for a, a phone charge, uh, sorry, not a phone charger, audio charger, the cable, which I had sent in. And uh, even the manager for that dealership even emailed you guys, hey, everything is, you know, sent in, you know, let that be a credit. And then so the lady that I spoke to last week was super nice. She like was like, hey, yeah, just sent the email and then just let us know. And then we'll just credit you uh, and everything should be back to normal. But the lady I spoke with today was extremely rude. She was telling me I'm going to get sent to collections and like I'm past due. And I'm like, how can I be past due when I called before I was even due? And like the email, you're telling me you guys haven't seen the email yet. And she was just being really like obnoxious and rude. And it kind of really just, Honestly, left a bad taste in my mouth because I've never really been treated that way by customer service on the phone before. So it's kind of really kind of disrespectful. And I don't know what I did to even deserve it because it's not even my fault. You guys are missing the charger cable. It's not my fault that you guys are missing it. I submitted everything accordingly. Okay, just hold on a moment here. So what what cable was missing? What happened with the cable? The charger cable is the e-tron charger cable that was submitted when I returned the car. I mailed it in like the day after they told me to mail it to oh. the label to mail it back to them. They got it. And then even the manager for that dealership even sent you guys an email saying, Hey, we have it. It's in a box, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, please credit Sandeep Saini for, you know, this amount. He shouldn't be charged for this. And then, but the lady was like, Oh, we haven't reviewed the email. Yeah. I was like, it was sent on Wednesday last week. How has it not been reviewed? And how do you like, and then you're telling me I'm late. How am I late on anything? If I've done everything, if I've done the diligence to get you guys everything, the manager took the time out of his day to send you guys an email, and then you guys are still telling me I'm late and I might be get sent to collections if I don't pay, and that just doesn't make any sense. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. You're confusing me here. What What is it they're saying they're sending you to collections for? Who? What was the name of this lady that you spoke to, first of all? I, Let me see if I, I didn't see her name. I her name, man. That's the problem. I wish I had, but she was extremely rude. Was it Hazel um, by any chance? Was it Hazel? Sorry? Was it Hazel? Sorry? Hazel, was it no Hazel? Does that I, I sound familiar? I have no idea what her name was. I honestly have no idea what her name was. I okay. did not catch her name, but it was just a really frustrating conversation. The lady I spoke to last week on Wednesday was extremely nice. Why did you polite. mail in the charger, though? Because we have chargers here. We don't need your charger. Like, why would you mail that that's in? That's what I'm... I have no idea, sir. This is... that That's a million-dollar question. Or in my case, I guess it's a $4,000 question, of which... Yeah, because... you I'm being charged from you guys. Yeah, I mean, you're just going to have to buy a new a new charger now. You shouldn't have put it in the mail and mailed it in. That was silly. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was just returning my lease, and I got another lease, so I'm a naughty customer. I went from an e-tron to a Q7 2024, so like, why didn't, I loved Audi. What? I don't have a problem with Audi. It's just I just had a problem with that person, and I'm not sure why she was being so obnoxious and rude to me. Well, so like, I mean, I just, I, I just got in front of my computer. I can tell you. So the total amount due on the invoice was $4,517, which is due on the 12th of July. I called in on the 10th to clarify, hey, like the dealership decided to pay the 1181 which is the outstanding payment. Like there's one outstanding payment left. They were going to pay that. And they were going to pay the excess mileage, which was um, $326. And then the total excess wear and use, $2,760 was the lady when I talked to last week, uh, and she said, oh, that's the charger cable. Uh, just want to make sure that you have the manager from the dealership send us an email, make sure they received it, and then we will discredit you the whole thing. So then I will owe $0, and the dealership's going to pay, and then you guys are going to you know, clear out that. But that's what we're having a confusion with here. And I can uh... give you whatever number, I can give you the account number, whatever else you need from me. I can take care of that. No, that's okay. I have all the information in front of me already. Looks okay. like it was Hazel that you spoke to now. Okay, okay. That's yeah, because right. I can see on today, all... Today can, is, are you talking about today or last week? Uh, looks like today you spoke with Hazel. Yeah. Um, so if it was today, then it was somebody named Hazel. Then yeah, it sounds a lot of like... Yeah, because like yep. she's put yep. lots of notes on here. Um, she's put... Um, 
I, I don't want to read all of this. It's a little bit kind of questionable, and I am going to kind of pass this up to my. She was extremely rude, sir. I wish you could just listen to the recording, and I, I, she, I wish I would have recorded the conversation. It, looked, it, looked, just kept it looks like she, it looks like she deleted the recording, and she's left some notes here saying this guy is a chode. Charge him for the cable. That's all she's put on here. Um, this guy's a what? A chode, C H O D E. I'm not sure what that means. Yeah, so you need to fire this person if they're calling me a chode. Then that's a dis- see. Th- that's what I'm talking about. This person was extremely rude. She deleted the recording, which is illegal. Is it illegal? I'm pretty sure that's illegal. You can't just delete a customer service because if I wanted to get lawyers involved, mm. I should have access to the recording. I uh, have some reservations about whether it's illegal or not. Like, I bet if you called okay, 911 well, and said, hello, someone has deleted a recording, I, I'm pretty sure they'd tell you to get off the phone, you know? That's just my well, personal I view. I, I think I you're being a bit hysterical about it. I, like, I mean, that's just me. First. Sir, I'm not trying to debate with you on the legalities. I'm trying to debate with uh, I'm not trying to debate at all. I'm just trying to tell you what happened with the customer service earlier. So what is, is just, just so I can be clear about the gravity of the situation, what does this word chode, what does this mean? I don't know what a chode means. Chode probably means an asshole, I'm assuming. Chode. Huh, okay. Look, what I'm going to do, because she, she has put a charge, she's put a request in here to have you charged for the cable. I'm going to... Yeah, so she's being absolute disrespectful. I'm, I have okay, okay so listen, listen. I, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, listen. What I'm going to do, Mr. Chode, is I'm going to put you on a brief hold, and I'm going to... Please gonna, don't call me Mr. Chode. I'm sorry, 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 I, I'm getting mixed up here. I, I'm going to put you on a very brief hold. I'm going to call up uh, Hazel and find out if I can just get her to relinquish this charge, everything else she's put on there, and just allow us to cover this and, and make everything right. Uh, can you hold for one moment, Mr. Chode? Stop calling me Chode, dude. All right, one moment, sir. Bear with me. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hi, is that Hazel? This is Hazel. Hi. Hazel, I have a customer on the line who's a little bit upset right now. Um, I believe you spoke to him earlier today. His name is Mr. T- Mr. Chode, you've put here. Mr. Singh. Um, anyway, so. he is... I, that's um, right. I think you term. mean... Stop we had a customer Chode. named Sunny, I think, earlier. His name Sunny. Was Sunny, Sunny Chode. Sunny, yeah. Ch- Sunny Chode. Chode. Okay, so, Stop calling that's him Chode, dude. Um, no. He is on he hold right now on line three. His name's Sunny. He was acting like a chode is my note but it's okay, okay what's okay. the problem well he's uh he's called back up he's very upset um obviously you've put a charge on there for the cable you've put some quite derogatory remarks about him well, what what happened with him why they this is, this is wasting you know what you're wasting my time about a cable there's no money to be made anymore here so what are we talking about? Then why are you, what guys you charging want? me then? So, would it be okay if we relinquish the charge on there? Would you be able yeah. to authorize no. that? Because it's no, no. Okay, well, you're you're going to have to explain that to Mr. Chode. No, I'm not, Mr. Sunny. Mr. Sunny, I'm sorry. Um, it's just the name. Okay, you're you're going to have to speak to him and just explain to him again. Um, y- well, you know. I don't even know why he sent back the cable. Well, I don't know why he put it in the mail. I mean, I don't know why he didn't leave it in the car like everyone else would. The um, dealership asked me so to do it, sir. The what I'm going to do me. is I'm going to patch him into you, and I'll let you handle this, Chode, okay? Okay, I don't know how these new phones work, so... Just press, uh, st- press star three, and it should go straight through to you. Okay. Hi, this is Hazel speaking. How are you? Hi, uh, I was just talking to the individual. He said you guys were going to take the charges off for the cable. I had the email proof that the cable was sent. Even the manager for Audi Bilby was saying that it's sent. I don't know why you guys aren't just taking it off. I don't know why you think we're going to take off that charge. Why would we take it off? Because you guys have the cable. Like, I don't understand what is going on. But we don't on. refund I, things. Why, why, are, why are you... Why'd you send it back? They asked me to send it back. The dealership did. When I got the new car. Why didn't you just keep it? Because it didn't work? 
I don't need it. I don't have an electric car anymore. It's you guys' cable. It's, I send it back to you because I was asked to send it back. Yeah, but there's no refunds on those. A what? There's no refunds on those. I'm not asking for a refund. I was told that that was what the charge was for from the last person that I spoke to. I know. We have to charge you for that. What are you charging me for? What? I'm not. What is there a charge for? You have the cable. You have everything. Sir, you sent back your charger cable because you don't have an electric car anymore. But I have to charge you for the cable. The car. It was returned with the car. I shouldn't be charged for something. Am I being charged thirty thousand dollars for the car that got returned after the lease was over? I can't. I'm not. I can't. What am I going to do with that cable? I can't. I don't want it. I don't care what you do with it. This is the person that I spoke to on Wednesday told me to do. Hazel, stop being a fucking bitch and stop calling me a chode <laughs> on your fucking notes. I know you said that. <laughs> fucking give it back to somebody that speaks to me properly. Get the fuck off the phone and let me talk to somebody else that I can speak to. You Sir. fucking bitch. I'm high in my chode jeans, Hazel. Are you wearing chode Talk jeans? Talk to somebody else. Look, I was playing with the chode Are you crying, thought, sir? What is Sunny? happening right now? Sonny, I've never been spoken to by anyone that way, and you, your voice gets really high, and it sounds like you're crying. Yeah? Are you going to not talk is, is now? Which Is this a joke? Are you joking with me? You just swore at me. You called me a fucking bitch. Can you please give the phone to somebody that can actually make some decisions there? Okay. I'm going to give you the phone to someone who can make some decisions, but I need an apology. I need an apology from you. I told no, you earlier I, I need an apology from don't you. Don't repeat. Don't ape what I'm saying to you. Can I get the recording for this, the last two conversations, please? Can you stop talking like a little girl? Apologize, and I'll put you through to Alex, my deleted. supervisor. Yeah, there's your recording. So go get it. Can, I please, uh, can you please send me the recording for the last two conversations? No, I recording can't. Recording can deleted. Put you, I can put you through to Alex, my supervisor. Yeah, please put me through Alex, your supervisor. I don't want to speak to I you. I will. Anymore. I will. Okay, you don't want to talk to me? No. Your call Hazel, is very bitch. important to okay, us. Okay, Mr. Please Chode. hold. Your call is very important to us. Please hang up. Please hold. Please hold. Please hang up and try again. Please hold. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Good afternoon. This is Alex Audi USA. Am I speaking to Mr. Chode? Sir, my name is not Mr. Chode. Please stop calling me that. Oh, I apologize. That's what I got on the nose that just came from Hazel. Yeah, that that Hazel is being a giant, like a B word. She's being extremely rude and extremely mean. Oh, no. I have no idea why you guys are being so mean to me and so rude to me. I, it was just supposed to be a simple customer service request. And they're, it's honestly been kind of ridiculous. Oh, my. Sound of Hazel's voice. That bitch Hazel makes me so fucking wet. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? Hazel, you're a fucking bitch. A fat fucking bitch. Who yeah, you... after she was being rude to me. Wait, why? What? What's what's going on? I, 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 I don't understand. Fill, fill me in from the beginning. What's happening here? I have no idea what's going on. You're saying you're saying you're Mr. Chot. That's not your name. And then Hazel is being something to you. What, what happened? The sound of Hazel's voice. That bitch Hazel makes me so fucking wet. What? Why would you say that? Why I you did not why say you talk? That. Well, you just say that. Why would you say that? There's something about a representative over here. Please be I polite, said that sir. She's being extremely rude, sir. She was being extremely rude. I never said she's making me wet. That's really, that's weird. I call. Well, her I mean, I mean, I'll be rude, rude if you talk. If you've been talking to her 
like this, I'll be rude to you too. That's unacceptable. Not... What is going on? Like, that's what I'm trying sir, to figure sir. out. You talking? So you not... you saying stuff about Hazel and. Which is not polite. I ask you not to use any profanity. Oh, I hung up. <laughs> Why did he say those things? Why, whiny little girl? I know. I'm a little bitch. <laughs>